Agricultural collaboration between the governments of Bhutan and Japan began with the arrival of late Tashukichi Nishoka, who worked mostly in Poro and Shemgang in the 1970s. This collaboration later developed into formal diplomatic relations in 1982. Since then, various developmental grants and technical assistance that include the farming sector have been provided to Bhutan. In 1999, JICA's assistance in agriculture development was extended to the eastern parts of the country to explore the horticulture potential of the region. A horticulture expert, Mr. Yuichi Tomiyasu, was placed at the RNR RC East in Kangma, Tashigang. The RNR RC was later moved to Wenkar in Mongar in 2002. The horticulture potential of the six eastern Zonkaks was studied, and the development of horticulture technological options began at RTC Wenkar. Potential crops and farming practices were first explored in villages closest to the research center and later moved further. The RNR RDC Wenker, with technical assistance from Mr. Yuichi Tomiyasu, had completed the study on horticulture by 2003. The Ministry of Agriculture and Forests then requested for a technical cooperation project to promote horticulture farming and rice farming technology options on pilot basis in Mongar and Linse. The Agriculture Research and Extension Project, AREP, a five-year technical cooperation project in Mongar and Thunse began in June 2004 and ended in 2009. Eastern Bhutan has very little potential for food production. However, it has a great potential to produce horticulture crops for the benefit, for the economic benefit and the well-being. Considering this, we made a request to JICA to provide a technical cooperation project in the horticulture development. After 14 years of JICA's intervention in the East, and especially at Wenker, now we can see the benefits of horticulture development. The Agriculture Research and Extension Project was aimed at developing suitable technology options in horticulture and rice production, promoting technology among the farmers of Mongar and Hunse, improving the agriculture extension system particularly in technology dissemination approaches and in enhancing the technical capacity of farmers, researchers and agriculture extension staff. The project involved JICA experts, researchers from RNR RDC Wenker and extension staff of the pilot Zonkaks. With the project, farmers made progress in horticulture farming and rice production. Our project is uh, one of the technical cooperation projects. We started in last project is Alep, is in 2004. Now the HRDP for the uh, horticulture crop commodity development, which technical handover to the Bhutanese counterpart. Up to now, we are uh, quite a lot of the commodity uh, developed to the farmers. The project introduced fruits like the Asian pear, persimmon, citrus, peach, plum and kiwi and a diverse range of vegetables like the cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli, pumpkin, zucchini, carrot and radish. The project greatly improved cultivation practices. This project ended successfully in March 2009 after establishing Wenker as a research and development centre, introducing and evaluating horticulture yields and studying cultivation practices and their promotion among farmers in Mongar and Hunse. The diversity of horticulture only increased and the quality of farm produce improved. In 2009, another project focusing on horticulture research and development was proposed and its implementation began in 2010. The project ends in March 2015. The Horticulture Research and Development Project, or HRDB, has been implemented in six Zonkaks of the Eastern Region and focuses on enhancing horticulture production through the introduction of a technical training system for farmers, development of planting materials and seeds, 
promotion of cooperative farming, and the establishment of an appropriate research and development model, research outreach, extending the output of research to farmers in the field using a focused approach. The research trial uh, results, which have been very, very successful in situ at Venkar and Nimitan. Now we are coming up with the citrus village, wherein most of the villages will take up citrus plantation. We are coming up with Pear Bridge Village. We are coming up with Persimmon Village. We are coming up with uh, Avogadro Village. Now in this, to gain maximum utilization of land, uh, we are uh, uh, also uh, intercropping in the, in the horticultural uh, fruit plants field. We are also going up to, to growing vegetables uh, side by side, uh, maximum utilization and maximum output from a unit uh, land will be achieved. So in this way, we are, we are uh, going into it. We will be upscaling the research trial results into other parts of the country, wherein these nurseries will be multiplied in other RDCs like Pajo, Boor, and uh, Paro. From where we will be producing the, the seedlings through nursery development in these uh, are these uh, regional uh, research and development centers uh, which through the upscaling process will try to cover the rest of the country likewise. Specific focus on the growth of temperate fruits was made through systematic training and orchard establishments followed by assimilation with vegetables. Citrus development in potential areas included the establishment of one citrus village in every Tsongkhag annually in line with the Agriculture Ministry's One Gewok Three Products or OGTP policy similar to the One Village One Product approach popular in Japan. With the capacity of farmers enhanced and production begun, the project collaborated with similar agencies like the Regional Agriculture Marketing and Cooperative Office, the Dzongkak Agriculture Offices and other projects to realize the commercialization of vegetable production in the eastern Dzongkaks. As farmers began fruit production and marketing, training in post-harvest processing with preference towards women farmer groups was provided. The project also established 16 vegetable seed growers and 8 fruit nurseries that in future could be linked to the national seed system as registered growers. These growers have now started to produce fruit seedlings and vegetable seeds. The project also extended support towards the Department of Agriculture in reviving the regional seed farm at Tashiyangtse. Proper mother blocks for seeds and seedlings and nurseries were established, land was developed and assistance was provided to the farm for seed and seedling production. In line with the Agriculture Ministry's policy on cooperative development, the production villages were linked to markets through the creation of market outlets on a pilot basis in Orong Samrup Jonkar and in Kilikar Mongar. These outlets not only serve as a local market for farmers, but also function as one-stop shops in collaboration with other agencies under the Ministry of Agriculture and Forests, such as the Agriculture Machinery Centre, and the Department of Agriculture, Marketing and Cooperatives. So uh, since 1964, uh, when Dashio Nishioka came to Bhutan, it was the beginning of the uh, JICA's cooperation. And then uh, we have been uh, agriculture project so many, such as the uh, KR2 and also this uh, technical cooperation project. So the, now the agriculture is the one of the most important sector for JICA to do this uh, to do this country, and still we are very appreciated that the, this project is very uh, very welcomed by the people in the eastern part of Bhutan, and also the um, the government that which is the, now the most important uh, part is the uh, self-sufficient. So I hope that the this result will continue by the government of Bhutan and also the farmers in Bhutan and still continue uh, to achieve the self-sufficient and food security in Bhutan.
So I would like to say that the, I, um, this is my great pleasure to work as a part of this project. Mapa, I see the jam leader Apple. Apple did not say that I am going to do this. 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 Ma, la besu bocah ni deh kopi, deh metu kopi, brokoli, deh hense, lahu, kewa, kakur, deh gelar orang tu lah. Ma, tapi emak dah, emak dah kopi di situ orang sayi lah. Kewa, kewa asli zaman masa dulu lah. Dari dari loci ni nak na bawa cian tiru bum cide cie, tak ni ni masa dulu lah. Deh kewa dah ni. By 2014, the technical cooperation project in the eastern Zongkhaks is expected to yield results. More than 40 different fruits and vegetables would be introduced and 12 varieties of fruits and vegetables released. More than 700 fruit orchards with about 30,000 seedlings grown at the centre will be created. Another 4,000 existing fruit trees belonging to farmers would be improved through top working. The diversity of horticulture produced at the market has increased. 15 to 20 different fruits and vegetables are available now. The quality of the farm produce has also improved significantly. According to an impact study in 2009, vegetable yield increased by over 12%. The adoption rate for vegetable crops was 60%. The adoption rate for fruit crop management practices was 30%. The technical competency of research and extension staff reached 80% and the technical service delivery improved by 70%. By 2013, the region, according to a study conducted by the Regional Agriculture Marketing and Cooperative Office, showed a 40% increase in vegetable production of which more than 60% are sold by farmers. The technical cooperation project contributed technical assistance and seeds. More than 3,000 farmers will be benefited directly by the technical cooperation that will create orchards and encourage vegetable cultivation. A total of 50 national counterparts, including researchers and extension staff, have been sent to Japan to enhance their technical skills and another 25 were trained in Nepal. They now work on developing horticulture in the region. A total of seven refresher courses on horticulture crop management practices were organized for all the extension staff of the region and horticulture researchers from other centers. Research outreach, expanding research output onto the farmer's field following the approaches of hands-on training, integrated fruits and vegetables and focus village is not only popularized in the region, but is spreading beyond the east and into other regions as an agriculture technology dissemination model aimed towards realizing the one Georg three product approach. JICA's technical assistance in horticulture development in the eastern Zonkaks have significantly contributed towards making a difference in the lives of the farmers in the region while keeping with the objectives of the technical cooperation as well as with the Agriculture Ministry's policy of enhancing food security, income and reduction of poverty. The Technical Cooperation Project and the Research and Development Centre at Wenker received the National Order of Merit Gold on 3rd February 2014 for the project and the centre's contributions in transforming the lives of farmers in eastern Bhutan. The Eastern Region with a total arable land of about 90,000 acres, include 70 geogs and 40,000 farming households. The region's agroecological belt, ranging from as low as 200 meters to as high as 3,000 meters above sea level, provides huge potential for agriculture development, particularly in horticulture. The Ministry of Agriculture and Forests and the Department of Agriculture 
through the Research and Development Center at Wenker, will continue to explore agriculture development and enhance the production of crops by training farmers. JICA's technical cooperation projects will be instrumental in delivering technical services that will help fulfill the goals of the Ministry of Agriculture and Forests while also benefiting farmers in the region.